projects, it's about a £50,000 project. It's obviously a very old staircase that we're refurbishing, um, over 500, 550 years. And obviously the wood has been around a few hundred years before that. Uh, it got to the state where it could deteriorate quite badly if we didn't do something. And obviously we use it for access to the tower and the bell room. We wanted to preserve that and we wanted to preserve something that's fairly unique as well. Over the years, the use of the, of the staircase as access to the bell tower had the tenons and into the strings of the staircase had worn to such an extent that the handrail was leaning out at an extremely perilous and dangerous angle. Uh, and in fact, you know, if anyone had touched it, well, if anyone had actually fallen against it, it would have probably fallen out. So that was the main problem, was that the, the whole handrail issue uh, was at a ter terrible lean. I think people, like all these, most of the woodwork we do, uh, uh, people had repaired it in the past. When they repaired it in the past, they perhaps didn't put as much uh, brain power into it as, uh, as we do nowadays. And so not only was it leaning outwards, but it was also leaning downwards. Uh, and the whole thing was really not, uh, yes, I mean, it was uh, the, the church here were obviously worried about using it and taking advice. And I'm not surprised because it was uh, um, it was it looked dangerous certainly and it was dangerous now this is a big job this is sort of three four months work on site in the church but there are certain parts that really are quite specialist and they need to come to a workshop to be finished off and you know it's easier quicker safer and probably more productive to bring them here and you can see it's a very intricate process and if I were doing some carpentry like this you'd be all over the place, but these guys have got it down to a fine art. They know exactly what they're doing and they can do it. It's interesting looking at the tools they're using as well. I mean, these tools haven't changed in decades, if not hundreds of years, I would imagine. So it's really going back in time and it's quite fascinating to see how it evolves. It just shows that some things haven't evolved, um, certainly on the mechanical, physical side and probably you wouldn't want them to, otherwise you couldn't achieve a refurbishment of the type we're undertaking. Well, it's very interesting looking at how the old craftsmen worked, because we're looking back. They knew no different than the way they made it. Obviously, we're now using machinery, modern techniques, but they were very clever people in understanding how wood worked, how it moved. Um, the structure they made, including the big gates, they're very large structures that had to be physically handled. Nowadays you've got lifting equipment, that would all have been done by hand. So yeah, it, it, it's a very interesting thing trying to look back and think like the old craftsmen to understand how the joints were formed, why they did certain things. This is a unique project to me. 30 years I've been doing these, this kind of medieval woodwork conservation and I've never seen a staircase like it. It's um, quite basic to look at but when you start looking closer the depth of the mouldings and the linen fold panels, the mouldings on the muntins and on the handrail, it's, it was a very expensive piece of woodwork when it was created. Stone would have been more expensive and it was more practical and economical to use timber. So they were clever in using hand tools. It's all, it's all done by hand. The timber cut from the log was by hand, all the mouldings were put on by hand, and we look at it in awe today, but they, that's how they worked. And they were very practical people and very skilled to produce mouldings and um, size of structure. Um, they became very clever at it. They're obviously unique people there skilled craftsmen and they're dedicated, they, they love what they're doing. You, you, can, you can see a passion in the way they play about and get everything just so. I do enjoy my job. It gets you to see fantastic woodwork throughout the country. And in this case, it's a fantastic community at Bishop's Cleve, very enthusiastic about the project, which is always good. Um, but for instance, 
when I took the muntins out, took the tenons out of the holes and looked down into, and hoovered out the, the mortises, you could see the timber archaeology of how the tradesman 600 years ago took his brace, brace and bit and drilled the hole before he chiseled the rest out. You, there's a, the signs of a spoon bit hole at the bottom of every mortise and that will be retained. So in 200 years time, if work needs to be carried out again on the stairs, another tradesman will see those holes that I've seen drilled by a craftsman 600 years ago. The difference is it will be 800 years when he sees it.